And Alive News at 5 starts now. We begin this evening with Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms time in office winding down with just two weeks left until Andre Dickens is sworn in on January 3rd. Today she spent about an hour taking questions about her four years in office, reflecting on what did and didn't work. Joe Hankey was there and walks us through what she considers some of her highs and lows. Joe. She but feels like a very long time ago. The beginning of Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms time in office was marked by a ransomware attack on the city, Atlanta becoming a finalist for Amazon's second headquarters and the city hosting the Super Bowl. Then the pandemic hit. Despite the challenges, Bottoms says she checked off many of the items she wanted to accomplish while in office. Keisha Lance Bottoms in 2018 pledged to improve transparency inside City Hall, fight homelessness and invest $1 billion in affordable housing. When I made the announcement in May that I would not seek re-election, I was able to, to get through my agenda quicker than I've been able to the entire term. Bottom says with politics removed, she views the past year as a productive exclamation point on her time in office. Her staff says since 2018, more than 7,000 affordable housing units have been created or preserved and over $700 million in public funds have been directed to affordable housing. A big dent in the billion dollar goal, she says, was an eight year plan. The need uh, still continues. Um, but again, you know, we have we have the, the numbers and, and the receipts to show how well we've done with that. She highlighted 30% raises for police officers, 25% raises for firefighters, and raises for 911 operators as major accomplishments. For transparency, she pointed to Open Checkbook, an online portal showing the city's expenses for anyone to view. There are issues that will likely always be a part of society uh, just by nature of us, of us being a large community. Bottom says issues such as income inequality might always exist and while she did not eliminate the problem, she took steps to address it with recently announcing guaranteed income and child savings account programs. Bottoms in the city have been scrutinized though for the handling of social unrest in 2020 after police shot and killed Rayshard Brooks and then eight-year-old Sequoia Turner was killed when people armed with guns blocked the street in protest. I would do everything differently if it would have changed that outcome. But given uh, where we were and, and what we were faced with at that time, I made the decisions I thought were the right decisions. And for a moment late last year, it looked like Bottoms might not finish her term as mayor as she was considered for positions in D.C. with President Joe Biden's administration. Bottoms thoughts on finishing her term as mayor and hopes her continuity between her time in office and Andre Dickens coming up, coming up at six. Sheba. All right.